I wanted to show you an exercise that I'm going to do right away um, before I actually put um, Jackson in the crate for the first time. So what I want to do is basically, um, you know, let him walk in there by himself, essentially. I'm going to show him I got some food. So I actually got his lunch here. And yes, I'm going to throw a couple of pieces in there because that's a different crate. I want him to get used to that. Nothing bad is happening. So, of course, you know, rather than pushing him in, because he actually, even here, yes, um, he's already hesitant and going in. Like you said, he, mm, he don't want to be in a crate. Well, the older he gets, the more of a problem this could be. And so obviously the last thing we want to do is now like shove him in there. What I want him to learn is if he goes in there, then he actually, after he goes in there, he's going to get a, a treat. I'm going to use the clicker right away, although, you know, he doesn't have a clue what the clicker is yet. Um, but he will learn. So I let him walk around. I let him come back. And what I do first is I throw the pieces of kibble in there first. Yes. And then what I do is I mark him putting the paws in there. I throw some more in. Yes. You can definitely tell how it has Yes, good boy. So, but the important uh, part about it here is that I let him also walk back out. So I don't shut the door every time um, that, you know, he has to go in there. Good boy. And obviously there is still so much to explore, even in this little room right here. So much going on. So he's basically working for his meal right here. So I'm going to use his lunch. Um, or part of it to teach him that going in there is a good thing because we want the crate to stay, um, you know, to have a good association for uh, a long time. So as long as he stays in there, basically he will get food. Yes. If he steps out, all the food stops. You see he definitely stretching out his back legs. I could probably put the crate long ways. Um, but it yes. It wouldn't really, it doesn't really matter because of whether he's going in from the long side or the short side. Um, I want him to go involuntarily thinking, oh my god, if I go in there, good things happen. Yes, yeah. good boy. behind me is um, his roommate, Remy. So, you know, Fran, he obviously gets distracted by that. Good boy. Yeah. basically scatter some plates all up in the crate because we can use his whole lunch 
just for this exercise because it's really important that he maintains a good association with a crepe. name the crate like essentially I can use place um, whether we call the crate place or his dog pillow it doesn't matter it's just a spot for him to go to You can see that right now he actually stayed in there a second longer after he was finished with all the food. So it's almost like, oh, is there more coming? Ooh, yes. You can also, if you don't have time at all um, to work with him, you can always feed him in his crate. Uh, so in his crate, so that. Um, keeps it, you know, keeps the crate having a good association. Yes, good boy, good boy. So there, there was no kibble in there, but he went in there to investigate to see. So, which is perfectly good. He's not going in there obviously on purpose yet saying, I went in there, now where's my trait? Yes, good boy. 